Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is La with another new video, Revit a Structure. So, in a previous lecture series, I have just completed our Revit Architect Tutorial series. Okay, I have just uh, tried to provide you some basic knowledge on that software, and uh, now I am just going to show you that how we'll use Revit for a structural analysis and design. Okay, so by using Revit a structure part. So for that, first of all, I'll open our software. They have two software, Revit 2018 and Revit 2016 at a time in my PC. So uh, I'm using Revit 2016 for modeling first time. And after that, I will use that file to Revit 2018 to show you different detailing. I mean, for beam detailing, column detailing, or for many things. Okay. So I'll simply open our Revit 2016 and the file I'm using I mean the model I will use this model I will use actually this is a real-time project uh, model okay I am working on that project and I have to design that project okay and uh, I just thought that um, when I am working if I just show you that how we are doing that work I think um, that will be good for you and also for us okay so Now what I'll do actually, okay. what I'll do actually, I'll just here, I'll uh, open, I'll go to our Autodesk Revit, I'll just close that, okay, and from here, you see, uh, first of all, I have to open a template from here, new, Okay, I'll just click new and from here I'll click I mean I will select a template a structural template now they have some uh, issue like uh, this template are using empirical template of US uh, empirical uh, unit template but if you need for matrix then you can select that by clicking here browse okay then just go back then US matrix and from here you can select as per your requirement okay so i'm just cancelling so the structural template that is okay after that i'll just click okay actually uh, with the template we are not able to work perfectly okay because uh, when we we'll use that template then this software uh, will uh, give you some extra features of work so uh, if you see here uh, already okay if you see already i have just uh, provided uh, that properties tab in left side and our project browser tab in right side okay and uh, here everything is okay here everything is okay now what i'll do actually okay what i'll do actually i'll just go here first of all at first time we have to create level okay we have to create levels so is a structural plan here see is it's giving us a structural plan and if you see here you will get uh, different types of level level on level 2 so what i'll do i'll just delete analytical level from here i'll just delete analytical level okay and here you are seeing that level 1 and level 2 are available so by clicking here i can see um, from the elevation view so if i click here just see here is the elevation view of our level okay of uh, we are seeing the elevation view now. Uh, what, the, what, what is the? I mean, what is the height of that structure actually? Okay, so total height of that structure, total height of that plan, I mean, uh, that um, structure is G plus four story. Okay, G plus, I mean, ground plus four story. So, um, first of all, I will just create level in our that part. And also I'll try to create our grid so here we're seeing that so I'm just okay uh, here first of all I'll just create a level so just see you are seeing they have a level level 2 and level 1 okay level 2 and level 1 so I will consider that level Okay, that level as uh, minus minus 
six feet that level that will be minus six feet then enter okay i'll consider this is minus six feet uh, this level is minus six feet and all of the actually i'll just move that by by clicking here i'll just make it like that so this i'll consider so i'll consider that is one footing level sorry footing level i'll just consider yes i'll just consider this is footing level okay so our next level what will be that will be in zero zero level okay that will be in zero zero and i'll consider that is plant level or ground floor level so consider two ground ground floor okay. yes so see here uh, ground floor level and footing level so what will be the footing level um, as per our dress design criteria that will be six feet uh, depth i mean the footing level depth will be six feet okay after that what will do i will just uh, create another level here okay i will create another level here so to create level just go to view okay and from view from view we are able to create our another level okay sorry uh, not in view mm, that is in a structure i'll just come a structure and i will just create here level so simply i'll click here okay and i'll just come i'll just come and now what will the height of our level so i'll just i'll consider from that point what will the height of our level so first of all i'll consider our height of level will be 10 feet 10 then uh, 10 feet and just go in that direction till that line and just simply click here okay so here you are seeing that level 3 have created so again uh, skip and skip double uh, double click on skip and just write here sorry 3 first first floor right this is our first floor so similarly and also if you want to copy by coming here modify then select that line okay select that line from here and first of all skip just come to modify and select that grid line after that click here copy and just by clicking that move top or any direction so from here what will be the height height will be 10 feet again 10 enter so just see here level 4 have been created level 4 have been created but if you see that our level is not available here that level is not available here right because uh, uh, when we'll try to move in different level then we will be not able to move here that level is not available so just simply click here and uh, sorry click here okay click here after that just come in a structure and from here sorry you can come here so after coming uh, view click here view then just click here plan view then a structural plan and from here level 4 okay so level 4 and from here you can select um, different types so only extra structural plan is available for a structure so level 4 and then click okay so uh, when you have clicked just again click east just see here yeah, level 4 is available now and here also level 4 is available so what will do i'll just change uh, 4 dot sorry second it will be second second floor enter yes so second floor 20 feet in same way we can create floor level so i'll just create that i'll just go a structure then level 
okay and I will just create level here so from here what will be the height again from from that on what will be the height uh, 10 feet then enter and just move in that direction here okay and again go top and what will be the height of it again 10 enter and here okay so again I'll just uh, create another I'll just move that later and here on second floor third floor and okay this is that will be our roof okay, no need any grid line so I'll just skip after that I will double click double click on uh, escape button then select that and move that as per your requirement so I'll just move that like that and also I'll move here and by clicking here also I'll move here just see we have moved perfectly and that side and that side also there same so what I'll do this is the for second floor that will be the third floor third third floor yes and here we'll create our final floor how to be the final floor roof just six okay six roof okay so it's done total height is 40 feet from ground uh, I mean from our ground level and uh, sorry i have to create another floor so i'll just consider that is six that is fourth fourth floor and then mistake here fourth floor and i'll just take another line from i mean level a structure sorry level and from here so here I'll just take a height of with respect to that line what will be the height height will be again 10 feet okay here 18 we can give here 10 feet sign then from here just come to till that level so here and finally we'll create another height for a terrace so to the height of terrace I'll consider that will be from that line okay it will be eight feet height and just come to that point so uh, our wall level is okay and here uh, fourth floor and it will be a roof seven roof roof level yes and here bit of terrace okay or terrace height uh, it's seven eight okay I'm just giving a T for terrace okay so you are seeing that our every data is available now if you want that I mean if you want that uh, if you want to increase that dimension or a scale then by clicking here so here on by eight for that is are available so by clicking here you can give here it's seeing and also you can increase like that like that you can increase but it's very high so what I'll do I'll just use that on sorry so I hope um, that one is okay okay and after that if need we'll change or do anything so just see here uh, this is okay all right and now what we have to do after that now if I just go first floor just uh, see uh, nothing is available but uh, by if we click here just see our wall all of our uh, grid level i mean our story level that are available from any direction so what we'll do in our next lecture i'll just do in our next lecture that how we'll create our grid 
okay how will greet create our grid here and how will uh, replicate or copy that grid for every floor and after that we'll start working so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video